Today I'm going to share with you five things that are amazing about my new Thunderbolt laser that are different than either my Nova 24 or my Glowforge Plus. Things that don't exist on either one or both of them that I absolutely love about this machine. And if you stick around till the end, I've got one bonus thing for all of you eh, lazy, lazy makers out there. All right, let's get into it. If you've been buzzing around the Facebook groups, especially the Thunder Laser group, you have likely heard about the new desktop entry to the market from Thunder Laser called the Thunder Laser Thunderbolt. And this machine is amazing. Now, what is the Thunderbolt? This laser will compete with desktop lasers in that it is a smaller size, it's a smaller bed size, but it's a really powerful laser for a desktop laser. So the first thing that I love about this laser is that it is an RF CO2 tube. And there's a couple of things that are great about that. First, it's fully encased in metal, so it doesn't need to be water chilled, which is great. It keeps one other thing out of your uh, space, which makes it a little bit easier if you're looking to have this in a smaller space. That RF tube also has a smaller laser beam. It is so finely pointed and you will really notice this difference if you are doing fine detail engraving, whether that's on acrylic or photo engraving. So I love this RF tube. That is thing number one. Thing number two is that this has a manual autofocus. My Nova 24, I need to set the focus. So I need to lower the bed down, lower the head, and make sure that I am focused at six millimeters for my two inch head or 10 millimeters for my four inch head. Depending on what I need to do, I manually focus that. And I thought that was the most wonderful thing until I got the bolt with this physical autofocus. So what the bolt does is it drives the laser head to your origin and it touches down at that origin spot a physical autofocus probe. And then it moves the Z axis to the appropriate distance to be in focus. You can do a few different tests to make sure that it's exactly correct, but once it's on, you are good to go and you can do it on every single item every single time and it's really fast. And I love that it's physical. So on my Glowforge, there is an autofocus feature. And if you've ever watched any of my Glowforge videos, the thing I will always say you do before you hit print is that you choose set focus because the camera is what's doing that focus to measure that distance. So things can get a little bit out of sync if you are setting that focus after you've already placed items onto your material. So with the Glowforge, you're using that camera and you need to use the camera to place things where in my Nova 24, I will typically not use the camera. I will frame my items. And so I will set my origin knowing where that's gonna start and then I'll frame it just to make sure that I like the positioning of where that item is going to be cut out of. But in the Bolt, I have both options. So I have the camera, but I also have that physical autofocus. So I get the best of both worlds. So if I were to use the camera to play something and then I can go and use that autofocus that physically touches down to the material to make sure that it is perfectly in focus versus the camera in the Glowforge. That is item two. The third thing that I love about the Bolt is that it is super easy for me to get lost pieces that fall through the crumb tray. So in my Nova 24, I will lose things through the crumb tray all the time. Although I typically don't cut with the crumb tray in there if I can avoid it. I like to um, just cut on the knife blades because I get smoother cuts and it's just one less thing that I have to put in and out as I'm taking the rotary in and out. So I typically don't cut with the honeycomb bed in, but if I do and I lose something through to the bottom or even when I just lose something through the knife blades, if I need to go get that, I have to unlock the front door to go get those. Not a big deal, but on the bolt, it is a magnetic front door. So I can easily just open that door and go chasing those little pieces and get them out really quickly. It's also a slide out drawer. So instead of me needing to dig around in there, I can just pull that drawer out, I can go find my pieces and I'm good to go. So these are all really great time saving things about the Bolt that I absolutely love. The next thing that I love about the Bolt is the ability to control some of the features on the controller via the touch screen that I don't have access to in my Nova 24. So one of the things that you will find if you are trying to set an origin very, very precisely, let's say that you're doing a tumbler and you wanna set that right above a logo or you have a corner that you want to use of a printed material, 
You will frequently want to set an origin to a very, very minute level. And if you need to go change the speed that your laser head is jogging around to that origin on something like a Nova 24, that will be a little bit cumbersome because you need to go change the speed. Then you have to go back in the menu for the bolt. There is a little menu item that is a rabbit and a tortoise, and you can switch between those very quickly to be able to jog that laser head as needed. So as you are setting up an origin and then potentially tracing, you can go back and forth between that tortoise mode and that hair mode really, really easily, which I use all the time. And it is a really fun feature that doesn't exist on my Nova 24 and is only on my bolt. If you want a really detailed comparison of the Bolt to some other desktop machine, you're gonna watch this video. This is not my video, but Brandon does a really great job of breaking down the differences between some of these other desktop lasers way better than I could do it. So go watch that after you finish this video and then come back and we'll do some more projects. Now, the fifth thing that I really love is also something that's in the menu. And this is the ability to change the power and speed that you used on a previously sent file right within the controller in a very simple way. So you can go into the file menu, you can access a, a project that you've run before and you can change the power and the speed. So let's say that you ran a project on a white acrylic and you wanna change it just slightly for a black acrylic and you don't wanna to have to resend it from your computer, you can easily change that within the file menu. I find this is really easy, or I find this is really helpful too if something doesn't cut quite all the way through in a version. I may run it again for that first version, but for the next one that I need to cut, I may just go ahead and update that within the file menu. Super easy, super fast. So these are all things about the Bolt that make it really easy and efficient to use. I think that this is an amazing machine. The detail that I'm getting on those acrylic engravings and all of the things that I'm doing with tumblers as well, which we will be getting a video on that in the future. I need to test out some more things there. Um, they're just really, really wonderful. I love the way that my acrylic engravings particularly are coming out. They're super fine detail, but I can barely feel them if I don't want to. So if I wanna have an engraving on the back and really just have it still feel flat, it's coming out that way and it is a beautiful thing. So my bonus item for you is if you are anything like me and cleaning your machine is one of your least favorite things to do and you put it off until you are starting to run into problems, this machine is going to make you very happy because it is super easy to clean the lens without being terrified that you are going to break it. So the way that the mechanism works, it actually removes and the lens is glued down into the mechanism. So you can just clean the lens without needing to pop it out, place it down, do all of those things that you need to do with a lens, either in a Glowforge or on the Nova 24. It is really, really easy to clean. And I tend to be a lazy maker or, or uh, work smarter, not harder. <laughs> and I really appreciate this feature. So that is my last tip for you. I hope that you have enjoyed learning more about the Thunderbolt. Like I said before, if you want a more detailed comparison, go check out this video, or you can go check out Malone Custom Designs. He has a video about why the Bolt is replacing his Glowforge. So there's lots of different places you can learn about the Bolt. Since this is a newer machine, I plan to create a lot of videos using this machine as well, and would love to know what kind of things that you want to see. I am open to trying things. If you know anything about me, you know I love acrylic projects, so that is my specialty and my go-to, but if there are things that you wanna see, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe so you don't miss anything. All right, thanks, we'll see you soon.